For my entire lifetime, 53 years, we've been hearing that medical decisions need to be made by doctors. And so here you are a practicing physical, clinical physician, an emergency room doctor, and you're saying, um, and there are other clips of you saying, like you alluded to there, we have treatment for this, we can actually don't need to be terrified of it. SARS. In your clinical opinion, based on your experience as a doctor, and they censored you for saying that? Yes, for sure. It's so obvious that there was something else going on. You know, there right. was, it's just, I mean, we don't even have to belabor it. It's just so obvious that this wasn't about medicine or science. It was no. totally to, to constrict people. People said to me at the time, oh, they're going to keep this going till the 2020 election. I said, no way. That's just, that's impossible. You know, it, it was, there were so many other motives that had nothing to do with medicine. And my lane was to kind of pull people back into reality as it pertained to medicine. In the scheme of human history, SARS-2 is not a serious virus. That does, I don't want to be misquoted. I've taken care of COVID patients that were very ill. I've intubated them, etc. But in the scheme of human history, like in, in the totality of human history, it is a manageable virus. And you were being told otherwise. So. What did your um, coworkers, the doctors you worked with who were sort of qualified to know that you, what you were saying was reasonable, yeah. how did they respond to this? Right. So everyone kept their heads down is what it was. I, I was just witness to people didn't want to get involved. That's it. It's the same as even your is. friends. Yeah, they, people just kind of they wanted their paycheck. They didn't want to get involved. They wanted to keep their head down. Was the majority of it, and secondarily, people are lazy. They didn't want to do the research. They didn't want to read. For that, the doctors are not going to be forgiven. They're going to have to answer for that because they had the capacity. These journals were not hard. I agree with that. The, the journals are not hard to read. They're written in plain English. They were from all over the world. You know, the, uh, two weeks or so before the White Coat Summit, there was a big study in Detroit showing a cut mortality. I mean, just read the journal article. You know, and they literally said, "We're not going to read this."